Ladies and gents, welcome back to Dav Plays. I am Dav, and today we are playing Life in Bunker. <coughs> I think it was only released today? Today or yesterday? Yesterday, I think, maybe. Maybe, who cares? Anyway, um, it's, it's another survival game. I know, shocking, shocking. Uh, it seems to be my thing at the moment. <laughs> I do play other games, I, do, I promise you, but... Um, this be what I'm recording these days. Anyway, we're gonna. I haven't played this before, obviously. I've literally just installed it right now, so. Um, let's give it a go. Uh, settings, audio, yeah. Just turn the volume edit down a little bit more. Because. I think it's a bit loud. Uh, controls. We'll just make them up as I go along. Why not? Sync, yes please. Target frame rate. So we'll go for 60 on that one. Apply. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what bit. Oh. Auto save? Uh, nah, whatever. Fuck it. Alright. Let's go. What yeah, okay. Bunker. Let's call it uh the Dad Place Bunker. An imaginative name. As always, uh, we'll go for a small world for now. I I think we'll keep everything as is because I I don't know what I'm doing. So. Okay, right. We'll we'll go through the tutorial because as I say, I'm I'm brand new to this. Um, if you hate tutorials uh, and if you've played it before, then I'm sure you can skip ahead to where I stop looking at it. This is a compulsory induction course for the new bunker wardens, but you know, it's all written by some bureaucrat, bureaucrats, uh, aristocrats, who have never actually lived in a bunker. If you know your way around, we can just skip it and jump right down to business. I won't tell anybody, I promise. To begin the course, I'm sure we just make it up as we go along. Let's make it up, why not? Let's make it up. Let's skip the tutorial. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Alright, tab, what does that? I thought it would. Uh, I've seen people play this, I'm not completely new to it, you know, so. I've got a vague idea of where I want to go here. Right, let's pause for now, because uh, while I make some decisions. Right, we've got a bunch of people. Uh, I'm going to say. Let's go for kind of all, all workers at the moment. Um, because we're going to need to make some crap, aren't we? Uh, right. How do you go to... Okay, so we've got three storage units, one's for ore, two for materials. We've got garbage container, reactor, water, embryos, which we will get going. Uh, big air purifier. Fridge. Okay. So anyway, uh, for those who have never seen this game or heard of this game or played this game, basically it's a, it's a, a colony simulator kind of standard affair really. A bit like Sims but you can't micromanage what the actual people do. So rather than actually assigning people to specific tasks you just give them jobs one of six jobs so they can be a, a worker a, a janitor an engineer a chef a farmer or a scientist and that's it uh, once you assign that then they'll do the necessary job or the applicable job um, that they've been assigned and you can change it on the fly you know you don't have to do this guy can be a janitor now if you want you know it doesn't matter um, so the way you play is you're basically building the bunker. Uh, so you'll, I'll show you. Let's let's find some ore. To start. There we go. Uh, can we go out there? I think we can go out there. That's cool. So let's cut away there. And let's cut this off. No, not that. That. And that. No. No. Not that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I've marked everything with deletions. Now when I press OK and press play, all my workers have been assigned. I don't know why some people aren't assigned. Oh, I see. They're not actually... Um, yeah, okay. 
all my workers will now go and mine this out so yeah you, you sort of you build it and then you just assign those tasks and they'll do those tasks for you I don't know if I'm explaining this very well but you know it, it'll become clear as time progresses um, so workers do stuff like cutting up stuff uh, oh I've just killed a mole man oh man okay well, that was quick um, more men are the enemy in the game. They just pop out of the floor and just wreck you. Um, so yeah, the workers, they'll cut down stuff. They'll um, build things. Engineers fix stuff. Chef and farmers, pretty self-explanatory. Scientists, uh, I've only got two jobs as far as I'm aware at the moment. They can either sit at a research station and build research points, which then you can spend on upgrades. Um, or they will work as a, a like a doctor or a medic in a in an infirmary. So if one of your people get wrecked by a mole man or they get the lurgy, then they can go and fix themselves up. Um, we need to put a mining machine on there. Let's have a think before we continue what we actually need to do here. So mining is obviously going to be important right now. Uh, a refinery is going to be important, isn't it? I want to make a hole there as well, um, just for ease of access for people getting about, I think. And then I'm going to put a concrete floor down, which I believe I need. Uh, let me see. Uh, production refinery requires a concrete floor. Cool. And that will turn all of our ores into building materials. Um, okay, let's just uh, let's just do that for now. Come on, guys, stop slacking. Get on with it. Okay. So I'm just going to get like, the bare essentials for surviving up and running at the moment. Um, unlike most of my videos, normally I skip about a bit because. You know, on subnautica or long dark, boring, boring stuff happens. You know, you're walking places or you're swimming places, whatever. Uh, in this, I probably won't skip about that much. Um, I've just remembered that this needs power. Uh, should we go out from the reactor? Yeah, that would work. Then what I can do is put in a refinery there. Like so, and that should get powered as well. Yeah, as I was saying, I probably won't skip back much because it's quite a. <laughs> You're always doing something in this, so. You know. Anyway, if, if you do find it boring that I'm just derping about, you want to skip to the fun parts, which I don't really know what you class as fun parts in this. Maybe the mole men pop popping up and destroying my life. Um, leave a comment, but otherwise. This is, this is how I'm going to go and do it for this one. Uh, right. So we've got our ores being mined. We've got a refinery being built to... Let's pause it again. Um, turn the ores into building materials. Got an incubator. I think we're going to need a farm pretty quickly. No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, that kind of stuff I can wait. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, I think we're going to make a vegetable patch and we're going to make obviously a shower pod and toilet cabin or maybe a couple of those. Uh, a research station is going to be important. So let's put one of those down now, actually. Let's get rid of that light. We don't need these lights. Fine, it's not dark anyway, you don't need lights. We'll put a research station there. Uh, let's build, let's just pull some of this area, oh, not that area, pull some of this area out uh, just to give us a bit of room for farming stuff. I can't mine this, I don't think, nah, until we've done the research anyway, so that can wait. Uh, yeah, do it. Right, you haven't got a job. You're going to be a... Why have you not got a job? Because I unassigned your job. 
because I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll leave this as it is until we've got the necessary bits and bobs up and running. Uh, we're going to need a janitor as well now then. Janitor will clean up stuff like the, the landslides and if more men come out of the floor they'll clean up the mole holes. <laughs> or if people start puking or whatever then that's fine. There seems to be a skull there, maybe that'll get cleaned up. That's a bit morbid to just be sitting on the floor isn't it? Uh, is that light lamp gone? No it's not, why not? Why is it not gone? Cannot be destroyed! Oh, okay. Why? Why not? Why not? Is it... Do I have to click on it and do that? That's why. That's why. Okay. I'm just doing the wrong stuff. You could be a red light because you're disappearing. Mmm, let's change some light colours. Why not? It's going to be green because they're next to the thing. Yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Right. Oh, stop that. Uh, and let's put a floor down where that was. Now I need a vegetable patch. So, what's it need to be on? Metal floor. Okay. Uh, metal, 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 metal floor. Uh, let's put that here for now. I want to keep everything quite compact because I think if you start expanding too quickly, from what I've seen other people play, there's just seems to be a lot of empty space and you're just wasting time digging stuff up rather than actually um, keeping everything nearby and also efficiency things like you know, keep having cut throughs and toilets where people are working and stuff. I mean. In some respects, you wouldn't want a toilet next to your farm, would you? But, um, I don't know, maybe it'll fertilise it. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think it matters that much in this game. It's not like you're going to get disease from it, and it means that your workers, when they need a break, they can just have a break straight away and then get back on it. Uh, right, we've got that. Let's make the research station. Put that there. Cool. How are we doing our materials? 577, okay. Uh, Ephemery is going to be needed soon, but not immediately. Uh, that's the front of there. Okay, so let's do a couple of toilets there. And shower pod there. And that means sorting out with water. Uh, which is here. Uh, no, that won't work. Uh, oh. It's going to have to be there, I think. I don't think they can work. Like, if there's a. a it's because there's a wall here, and there's going to be a thing here and a thing there, I don't think they can get to the floor there to actually deal with it. Unfortunately. Okay, and now that's cracking on with that. We're going to need a farmer. Um, you can be a farmer. We're going to need a scientist as well. Uh, mm, yeah. You could be an engineer because I think these. I want him to be a chef or a scientist at some point. Or her, I should say. Okay, cool. Right. This needs something. What does it need? Water and power, I guess. Uh, electricity. Good. And uh, water is going to be a bit of a ball lake, so we have to go along from there, I think. Uh, we could go there. Yeah, no. No, we can't. No, we have to go across from there. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I swear. Yeah, that works, I think. Um, 
And while we're doing that, let's put in a kitchen. And that can just be here, I guess. Uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That works well. And then I don't think it matters if the food's in the kitchen or not, but you know, we're using the space we've got. And we'll put a canteen there. Yeah, we'll put one there. So you can eat. Beautiful. Beds, uh, we'll make space for them in a bit. I'd like to research bunk bed when I can. Um, just to save me space initially. It's probably not the best idea to do that immediately, but I don't know. I wonder if space saving is the way forwards on this game. Uh, right. So you researching away, you've got... Okay, we've got 17 research points, so that's going to take a little... What does that do? Controls groups of objects and build complex water groups. Oh, it's tiny. Interesting. Right, well, maybe we'll look into that later, because I don't know what that is. I love the fact I can change the uh, colour of lights. Little things like that, you know, makes me happy. Right, this... This is going to need... Let's pause again. The reason I keep pausing is because obviously people are getting old and their needs are increasing as time goes by. Um, so just keeping the game running, you're just going to get swamped at the start, basically. Why is there not a power line there? I swear I put one in. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm being silly. That should work now, though, in theory. Alright, jobs. So, we've got a scientist, we've got a farmer. We need a chef. Uh, you can be the chef, because we've got an engineer. Um, we've got two farmers. Okay. That's probably okay. I mean, it, yeah, two's fine. Uh, we're going to need somewhere to store vegetables as well at some point, but I think right now... That's not a priority until actually harvesting. Uh, I'll be right back one second. Sneaky jump cut there. Uh, there was a giant spider on the wall that needed dealing with. Right. <laughs> Real life issues. What was I doing? Vegetable patch. That's all done. That's up and running. Oh, how did we just get attacked by mole men? Oh, we did. We did get attacked by mole men. Excellent. But they got swiftly murdered, so that's fine. Uh, right, let's have a look at what's going on. Let's pause for a second again. Uh, and make a mental list of what we're going to need. We're going to need another fridge over here. Um, because this one's storing fish at the moment. We've got 36 fish already. If we delete that, I... I think the fish probably will disappear, so we're going to make another fridge for vegetables, uh, and then whatever harvest comes out of this, that that's fine. I mean, it's, it's just maturing at the moment. So there's no farmer. That's that's lies. Maybe just because he's not actually at his post. I don't know. You're fine. We're at six, seven research points, so I think we should probably look into researching some stuff. Bunk bed, oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, temper drill bit, yeah, that's gonna be good as well. I think, I think, I think that the ore refinery module could do with upgrading. That sounds like a really good thing. In fact, we'll do that twice for now um, and get maxed that out because I think. The more materials we get at this point, the better. Uh, and I can't actually see any other... I'm very concerned about the lack of... Um, uh, our mines up here, like ore deposits. It's, I think it's just the one which is really going to destroy us, to be honest. Um, it's got 208, and it's five... Yeah, five materials to each ore. So that will keep us going for a little while, but it's... I don't know. We're Plenty of fire a bit there, I feel. Uh, right, that needs making. Then we're going to have 
Uh, let me see. We're going to need an infirmary, aren't we? That's that's going to come up as a thing pretty soon, I reckon. A bit there, I think. Can we actually fit another shower in there? No, we can't. That's annoying. Uh, we can put a toilet pod in, but that doesn't matter. Alright, so we've got everything in here now, apart from the beds. Beds are going to be needed. Um, production's fine. Not bothered about life support at the moment. Uh, hmm. Water's looking a bit low, but apart from that, we're fine, I think. I might do another water grid over here at some point, so this water thing... I'm not sure if that's still a thing. Like it used to be that you couldn't have two water pumps on the same grid, but I don't know if that's the thing anymore. We'll we'll see. We shall see. Shortly. Go make that, guys. Come on. All this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna need another. I wonder if the scientist will switch roles, in which case that's probably gonna be a bad placement by me. Um, we won't make a scientist yet for the infirmary until somebody needs it, and we'll see what this, what, what, Philo, <laughs> Philo Yamashita decides to do in that case. Uh, need that needs power. And it can have power like that. Sweet. I think we're doing okay. We've got most of the basics up and running. Beds are going to be a thing that they're going to want soon. Uh, let's research the temper drill bit. Uh, is that will that allow me to get through there? Pause a sec. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that now. Sweet. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I might delete. Oh, I can't do that. So I can only do that type. Okay. Okay. Well, never mind. I was gonna delete this bit of wall and put a wall down here instead, just because it's neater. <laughs> I like that. Bit of a neat freak. Uh, but that's fine. Oh, there's another wall thing there. I completely missed it. Um, stupid. Uh. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll we'll break through to this as well. Then, in that case. Cool. Do it. Do it. Uh, we're going to need a sleeping area. Um, we might bring it off here, maybe. Yeah. That works. We'll expand this way. How many? Oh, cheap and unlocked. Oh, we've got, we've got kids! Hey! Sweet! Oh, Igor. And Chris. And Aiko. Interesting. Interesting names that they uh, generate on here. So the kids are going to be a burden upon us for a few years, just like real life. Um, they, they obviously aren't going to do anything around the base, they're just going to consume resources and just, just be a general, general parasite upon us. Um, until they grow up, which I, I can't remember what age they grow up on. It must be what these people are three, so two, three, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I know they retire about sort of fifteen or something like that. So, but yeah, they're just a, a waste of my life at the moment. But when they grow up, they can do some stuff and earn earn it all back, or give it back even. Uh, let's put a, another mining machine down there. And I think another refinery is going to be necessary, isn't it, really? Just to up production to the point where it's quick. Uh, our fridges, vegetables are overflowing. I know why that is, because I haven't assigned this as a vegetable fridge. Vegetables. Lovely. Go. Okay. And we were going to do beds as well, weren't we? But we need to do power for this mine first. 
Uh, ooh, 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 which way is going to be quicker or less resource intensive? Probably there, I think. Yeah, another refinery. Um, hmm, let's put the beds in first, maybe. Uh, Central zone. I thought I, I did. Um, I thought I had a lot better bump beds, but apparently I didn't. There we go. We have now. Woo! Uh, titanium drill bit. Yes, we have that as well. And uh, we'll increase the vegetable growing rate because that's never a bad thing. I think actually we're going to leave it here for this episode. Uh, keep it short, you know. You don't want to sit here and watch me for hours. In the next episode, we will make some beds and we will possibly pave this area to stop the mole people from coming up and ruining my day. We need another refinery, uh, and we shall uh, keep some more kids. Yeah, that'll do anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, like hit the like button uh, hit subscribe if you really 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 enjoyed it <laughs> if not hit dislike you know fuck the police um, and I will see you next episode cheers guys <laughs>